Yep, it's snowing all right. All right, well, looks like we got a little bit of snow overnight. taco stacks we are going to a rummage sale right now i was probably not gonna go um not only because of the weather but i had a feeling this one probably wouldn't be too great uh this is the one that has it's kind of dark in the the whole building you can't really see much uh they have it like once every two to three months and what i've kind of noticed is unfortunately sometimes it feels like it's just the stuff that didn't sell from last time um see how many people are here we got Oh, we got some people waiting in line. So it's supposed to start in two minutes. Looks like there's one truck there. Right. He got me. So we'll see uh, We'll see if this is anything good. I'm shocked there's anyone here, but then again, I'm not shocked. Um, so we'll see. Got a couple cars. Oh, maybe they just went in. They just disappeared on me. kind of amusing there's literally like two trucks here uh, maybe not maybe I don't know Yes, there's literally only those friends that I know from the flea market. And just myself here. So, wow. Right here, I'm looking right at it. Car. Looks new though. Does this bench go with the desk or not? Real? It doesn't have to. What are you getting for the bicycle? 20. And this chair? Alright, now I made it to an estate sale, which I'm not too fond of estate sales just because I, I don't like the whole negotiation process. You know, when you go up there to pay, you kind of feel obligated to buy it and they kind of jack up the price, at least at every estate sale I've almost been to. But we'll see what happens. Wow, it's not a bad price here. 50 bucks for a dresser. I mean, for a state sale, it's not, not a bad price, but it's too much for me. Because I'm cheap like that, but it's fairly nice. What I'm saying is if you needed one, that's a good deal. In terms of anything else here, I don't really see much.
always thought that was interesting. I'm not to judge someone. Why should we have a Mac toolbox for all craftsmen and like Pittsburgh tools? If, that, if it was me, I'd do the opposite. I'd have like a craftsman toolbox with all Mac tools. All right, so Salsa and I are going out for a little fun in the snow, I guess. Don't go too crazy, Salsa. What are you doing? No, don't lick that salt. Oh, jeez, what a dog. It's, a, it's been there your whole life. What an interesting dog. Come on. This dog is all fired up. So she loves the snow. Come on. Where are you going now? Happy dog. All right, so made it back. As you guys see, Salsa was really excited to get out here in the snow. I am going to actually try to remove as much of the snow as I can, so I'll get out the snowblower. Wow, the Jeep. Uh, this the salt water and snow is never good. I actually went on a hiking trip or, or a, a camping trip. I think it was in like second grade or so, fourth grade, fifth grade, somewhere a long time ago. And the guy said, if you ever go camping, in the snow, the most important thing to have is sunglasses. Never really realized how bad that was until I got a little bit older. But, um, yeah, got back. Didn't get anything at that estate sale. Estate sales are tough. You know, I, I don't know about estate sales. I guess in the winter, people have estate sales rather than, like, garage sales or yard sales. And, it's, you know, that house, there's... There wasn't much in there. Um, if it was me, I wouldn't have had a sale, but I guess some people just really want to sell off stuff. And they had some things that were worth a little bit of money. Uh, but estate sales, I'm not not too huge of them. You know, like ladders, $200, snowblower, $350, lawnmower, $400. It is what it is. Um, but I got some jackets this morning, or a jacket. Uh, I'm going to get out the snowblower. A lot of people seem to like my snowblower video from last year. And, uh, don't really need to get it out we only have about right now it's probably about three or four inches of snow but it started off being about five inches of snow as the day goes on it's going to compact as the snow starts to compact it's because it's melting overnight it's supposed to get down to 12 so that compacted snow is just going to turn to ice and all these tracks like that one and that track i'm going to just be spinning wheels if i don't get at least most of this snow off uh, if i can get it down to about an inch i might be all right but if it's about three inches of snow, we're in for a, a rude awakening the next couple days. Another big thing is snow management. So I'm not like a huge like guy on this whole kind of thing, but uh, every state, every city, every everywhere does their snow differently, it seems like. So for one thing, around here, they throw these cinders down. You guys might be able to see it. It's like a little black stone. I think this is from coal. It's like the remnants of mining coal. I think that's what that is. Um, some places don't do that. Rather than put down salt after they plow, at least in this town, they throw down those things for traction. I don't know. I know the state throws down salt. But in terms of townships and counties, some of them do it differently. Like uh, for my last trash picking video, there was pre-treatment put on the roads. This town doesn't do pre-treatment. So it seems like snow management is different from place to place. I said the thing about in the south, they put sand down. Everyone's different.
Hey, salsa. Hands are like beet red. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> whew. Winter's here, that's for sure. Uh, overall, another fun day of adventures. I'm going to sit down and do some editing. I know we didn't really do a whole lot today, but first snow day of the year got the best of me. I, I did most of the driveway, did it from my barn. Um, generally speaking, I usually throw a lot of my like trash in there. Uh, and I can't park there with snow being there. So I park on the road and just throw like a cone out. Um, so uh, I did a whole little like path so to speak right next to the road but man cold winter hopefully everyone's staying warm i sure as heck hope i'm going to get warm here in a second maybe sauce and i will go hang out on the couch for a little bit maybe not <laughs> uh but yeah it's gonna wrap it up here for another day hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you guys enjoyed smack like button check out my uh yeah i don't even know where i'm going with this but yeah subscribe for more treasure hunts and uh see you guys tomorrow or next day See you for our next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. Till next time, have a great day. Keep loving our dream. Peace.